Back with you on the FanDuel Hurry Up, that's Frank Stample. I am Greg Sussman. And Frank, when we compile our list in the morning, we feel pretty good. We put the research in, we go over the stats, and when news breaks, we have to adjust. So although my favorite running backs wide receivers are currently on the left side of your screen, the number one guy that we tell you to pick up, he's not. Because Ito Smith is that player with Devontae Freeman hitting the IR as he needs surgery on his groin. If Ito Smith is out there, how important is it for you to go grab him? It's extremely important. Again, this is the top waiver wire ad of the week, especially at the running back position. You're looking at going as high as 30% of your fab budget. You have to ask yourself, Greg, if Tevin Coleman was a free agent in your league after drafts ended, Devontae Freeman obviously went in the second or third round, wherever he draft, wherever he went. Tevin Coleman, how much would he have been added for off your waiver wire? That's how you have to look at it now because Tevin Coleman steps into that Devontae Freeman role and Edo Smith steps into that Tevin Coleman role permanently or, you know, at least <laughs> for the rest of this season. But Edo Smith has scored a touchdown in three straight games. In the past two games that Devontae Freeman has missed, Edo Smith has played at least 42% of the snaps. So, He's, he's getting that role. It's, you know, 55 to 60% for Tevin Coleman, 40 to 45% for Edo Smith. So, obviously, everyone's out there hurting at the running back position. If he's available, I'm going as high as 30% of my fab budget on Edo Smith, Greg. I completely agree. He's the number one guy that is out there. And you got to remember, Devontae Freeman no longer a thing. Edo Smith has scored in three consecutive games, and he looked like the better running back on Sunday compared to Tevin Coleman. If Edo's out there, you have to do what you can to go out and get him.